Uh, hi, uh, this is Ambush Chalapa here. Uh, now, now I'm gonna explain about my project for wireless communication coursework. So this project is for uh, channel estimation of wireless orthogonal FDM system. So, uh, what what is OFDM? Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is a technique where you transmit data uh, uh, over the same channel using different frequency ranges uh, to use the channel more efficiently and this, this is one of the best system for transmitting signals uh, over the same channel where you use the same channel and transmit data at different frequency ranges so that the data do not overlap and at the same time you get the data at the resultant uh, without any discrepancies so that you can find the resultant data uh, data that has been transmitted using the frequency range and get the respective data out. So OFDM is one of the most efficient techniques for transmission over the channel. Uh, and yes, and it uses the bandwidth uh, very efficiently. So uh, this 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 image shows uh, the transmission of data over the same channel using different frequency ranges, where the red, uh, green, blue, and the purple uh, uh, waves are uh, uh, data that are being transmitted at different frequency range, and del f is the difference between the two frequencies, which which could uh, show you that the data can be transmitted without any impact as such, without getting mixed up. So uh, how was how, how does OFDM work? So this this uh, there's a block diagram that explains how the OFDM work. So you, you take the uh, input data as a serial input data and convert it to a parallel data so that you could uh, assign uh, a particular frequency for each data, and then you uh, the signal mapper assigns the respective frequencies and then you perform transformation uh, such as IFFT to transform the data using fast figure transform inverse fast figure transform. Uh, to uh, transmit the data and add uh, and add uh, the additive signals that are needed for transmission, like the guard bit insertion. So uh, uh, while while the data is being transmitted, you get additive white Gaussian noise being added to the data because uh, you are transmitting data through the channel, and there's a lot of possibilities that uh, noise get added to it. And uh, in the receiver side, you have a down converter and a fast Fourier transform uh, to get back the signal and removal of guard bit and uh, conversion of parallel to serial data so that you get the data as required and this 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 block diagram is the most efficient way to transmit data over a given channel using different frequency ranges so uh, there are two ways of estimation uh, a channel estimation that could be done uh, in OFDM where you you could use a pilot based channel estimation or a blind channel estimation so in in a pilot based uh, channel estimation technique uh, you you'll ha you'll add additional data uh, to the to the signal that should be transmitted, these are called the pilot uh, pilot signals, and these data are added at the beginning of the subcarrier as such, so that you could you could uh, use this pilot signal to discriminate between signals, so that you could uh, get the respective data out very easily. So uh, the main advantage of this is that you could discriminate between the data, and the processing becomes very simple. But uh, for ev every subcarrier, you add a pilot signal to it, so this signal would consume up uh, give a uh, uh, given number of uh, a particular amount of the bandwidth and th that could uh, be a big uh, big issue as the bandwidth of the channel would be reduced in this case. The blind channel estimation technique is where you transmit the data without any pilot uh, signal being added to it but in uh, this, this would use up the entire bandwidth for the data transmission alone but uh, in this case uh, the uh, uh, tr transformation of the data and getting back the uh, data from the channel uh, is going to be a tough uh, and a complex process as a uh, huge amount of operations or algorithm should be performed in the data to retrieve the data back. So um, uh, we are going to use the pilot based channel estimation technique and uh, there are mainly two algorithms that, that are used here the minimum mean square technique and the least square technique. Uh, uh, the, the difference between the two is that the minimum me uh, mean square uh, technique is better than uh, performs channel estimation better than least square technique and uh, MMSE is generally used for a uh, channel with low fading uh, uh, and uh, the, d uh, the main uh, difference is that the MMSE uses a complex algorithm when compared to LS uh, technique and thus, uh, uh, thus MMSE could be used for channels that need a better uh, operation and a better accuracy whereas LS could be used for techniques that for channels that need uh, to use a pretty simple algorithm as such. So uh, 
to add the pilot uh, signal uh, into the data there are like two different techniques where you add it uh, using a block type pilot inversion insertion or a comb type pilot insertion so in the next image you could see the difference between the two the first image is the block type pilot in, uh, insertion where you add the pilot signal at the beginning of each sub carrier and uh, uh, whereas in the comb type pilot insertion you add it uh, at a particular at particular intervals during the data transmission so the difference between these two is going to be that uh, in, in block type pilot insertion the operation is going to be pretty simple as you will add it to the beginning of the sub carrier and then you just transmit the data whereas uh, in the comb type pilot insertion you will be adding uh, the pilot signal at a particular interval during the data transmission so you need to stop the data transmission add the pilot signal to it and then uh, transfer the data again so that's going to be a kind of complex process so uh, uh, to implement this uh, uh, I, I have uh, written my code to implement the LS uh, I have used the code that is available online to uh, implement the LS and MMSC uh, algorithms as such and uh, the graph uh, that is coming up shows the ratio of uh, SNR versus MSC for uh, different channel lengths so here the channel length is taken as y and this graph shows the ratio of SNR to the channel MSC and that's the, the same way it's done for uh, channel length of 20 and channel length of 40 again so um, from this we can see that the, uh, the MSC has a better performance when compared to LS as such and the signal error ratio uh, symbol error ratio was also measured for a 64 channel OFTM system uh, to see how how it performs, uh, how the MSC and the LS uh, uh, LS algorithm performs. So we could see that the MMSC algorithm performs better when compared to the. LS. Uh, now now I'm going to explain about the uh, how the code works. Uh, so here you said the uh, you generate the symbol uh, transmit over the channel and you add the noise uh, as the channel adds noise and receive the signal and uh, perf I mean uh, perf use L L LS LMMSC to. Uh, get back the cha uh, to estimate the channel and get back the signal. So now I'm going to run the code, and this is for uh, a 64 channel OF OFDM system with channel length of 5. So I'm running the code here and just waiting for my result. So uh, here you, you see the output for uh, a channel length 5 where you find the uh, MSC versus the SNR. So uh, now we will also see how the code works for finding the signal symbol error ratio. So uh, th uh, this code uh, would this code would uh, get you the sim uh, symbol error ratio for a 64 channel OFDM system. So uh, for uh, LS and MMSC system. Uh, so I am, and this is the result for uh, symbol error ratio versus SNR for the system. So this way you could see that the LS uh, LS system is kind of slower than the MMSC uh, is kind of poor than the MMSC system, and thus we can say that uh, MMSC is more complex uh, channel estimation system, but uh, that that provides a better way, a better algorithm for uh, channel estimation when compared to the LS system. Thank you.